In the last video, we discussed about the cofinite topology. In this video we are going to prove this theorem. So let's get started. First, we will show that tau satisfies axiom number 1. That is both the empty set phi, and the whole set x belong to tau. Now note that the empty set phi belongs to tau by definition of cofinite topology. That is it is given in the statement of the theorem. So now we are only to show that x belongs to tau. Here the complement of x, is x minus x, which is the empty set phi. And since it has no element, it is finite. So x belongs to tau. Hence tau satisfies axiom number 1. Okay, now we will prove that tau satisfies axiom number 2. For this, let i be an index set, and gi belong to tau, where i belongs to the index set i, that is gi's are arbitrary number of open sets of x. We will show that, union of these arbitrary number of sets in tau, also belong to tau. Now, try to recall about de Morgan's law. De Morgan's law about two sets, namely a and b says that, the complement of, a, union b, equals the complement of, a, intersection, complement of b. And the complement of, a, intersection b equals the complement of, a, union, complement of b. The de Morgan's law can also be generalized for n number of sets, as written here in green color, which we are going to use in our proof. So here, using the Morgan's law, we can write, the complement of union of GIs, equals the intersection of the complement of each GIs. Now the fact that each GI belongs to tau, implies that, the complement of each GI is finite. Hence, the intersection of the complement of each GI, is also finite being the intersection of finite sets. Hence the complement of, union of GIs, is finite, and so, union of GI, belongs to tau. Therefore, Tau is closed under arbitrary union. Now we will prove that Tau satisfies axiom number 3. For this, let G1 and G2 be any two sets in Tau. We need to show their intersection also belongs to Tau. Now, again by de Morgan's law, we can write, complement of G1, intersection G2 equals the complement of G1, union, the complement of G2. Now, since G1 and G2 belongs to tau, implies that complement of G1, and complement of G2, are finite, and so is their union, because of being union of two finite sets. So, complement of G1, intersection G2, is finite. And therefore G1 intersection G2 belongs to tau. So tau is also closed under finite intersection. Thus, we can conclude that, tau is indeed a topology on X.